So hi everyone, welcome back again in the lecture 2 of ANSYS simulations of roll cage analysis. In the previous lecture, we discussed about the basic ANSYS and the frontal impact analysis. If you haven't watched the video, I will provide the link in the description box. Do now in today's lecture, we will discuss about the side impact analysis and top impact analysis. We will perform the analysis and simulate the results. Now, let's go to our ANSYS window. Now, I will again select the static structural window and drag it to the schematic window. And let's rename it to the side impact analysis. So the best part about ANSYS is we don't have to do the geometry editing and meshing again and again. Just simply drag model and connect it with the model of side impact analysis. So whatever meshing and geometry editing we had done for frontal impact analysis, it will be updated in side impact analysis. Just click right and update. As the green tick is here, it will update all the parameters of front impact analysis to the side impact analysis. Also, I would like to add about engineering data that I have added AISI 4130 material into the engineering data and we will be performing side impact analysis and the following impact analysis with AISI 4. So if you want to assign AISI 4130, just deselect it and suppress the structural steel which will start functioning AISI 4130 in the next analysis. If you want a video on how to assign and add a material, a new material in the engineering data, do comment in the comment section down below. Now as you can see here is the green tech and all the parameters will be updated. Now let's open the ANSYS mechanical. As you can see the mesh has been updated. It is the same mesh we use in front and back analysis. Also the geometry. So you can update it accordingly. As you can see in the materials, AISI 4130 is indicating here. Also, you can assign the materials by clicking each and every part of roll case by pressing Ctrl and left mouse key. And at the end, you can assign it from here. Now, in our case, AISI 4130. Now, we will apply support and load for side impact analysis. But before that, what is side impact analysis? Now basically we will consider here reference area. In our case I am considering left side but that our old case will got hit from the left side and the impact will happen in the left side and we will get we will give support from the right side so now let's select the face you can also select multiple faces by pressing ctrl key with left side of one to end now as yes, in this part the impact of the force the load will be maximum so now Let's give the value and in our case the force is acting on the minus x direction. So let's give the magnitude value. So 
so i have calculated pool by incorporating work energy theorem you can also calculate it i will providing the pdf link in the description box do check it out the calculations now we will be providing support to the rule cage let's select this area Select the result you want. These are total deformation. Uh, total equal to one is stress. And also we will add B factor of safety, which is our stress tool. So let's discuss what is factor of safety. It is basically a measure of reliability of a particular design. The ratio of frame strength to actual load applied is known as factor of safety. In stress tool factor of safety, it is equal to a stress by working stress. So, let's now find out the solution by clicking right in the solution and press the solve button. Now, here you can see the solve window. It will solve the solution for us and will provide the solution in few minutes. And here we go, that's the result for us. This is the total deformation as you can see how the impact is acting on the body. Also you can see the current stress. I've already propped the results. If you haven't seen how to drop, you can connect it from here. Also you can apply contours. I've shown in the last video how to apply contours. You can also run to scale now let's see the factor of safety factor of safety is 0.9869 which is usually very low and it can cause harm to your road case so make sure your factor of safety should be always above 1 that is considered to be a good factor of safety you can also animate here you can see the animation how the impact is weighing in the body so this was all about the side impact analysis now let's move on to the next analysis that is top impact analysis now let's move on to the next analysis that is top impact analysis now let's select the static structural window to the project schematic window and now let's rename it to the top impact analysis Now as you can see in engineering data, AI 4130 is still there 
now we have to use the ASI 4130 so we have to suppress structural steel so it will automatically import ASI 4130 in our material now let's add the geometry let's import geometry we will now let's move on to the model click add it and it will open our answers mechanical Now it opens our answers mechanical and also imported the geometry. As you can see as a question mark in the geometry, what you have to do is select each and every part. Now we have selected each and every part and we will assign the material ASI 4130 it's a very lengthy process but you have to do it now let's move on to the mesh so now coming to mesh I will input element size to be 10 millimeter it's because it's basically due to your laptop spec and my laptop 10 millimeter is meeting the mesh requirements also in sizing i would i want to tell you about the resolution it basically takes value default value 2 but the resolution option controls the mesh distribution the default setting is program control as usual the range of values that can be set is 0 to 7 with the mesh resolution changing from coarse that is 0 to fine that is 7. It basically deals with the quality of the mesh. It's basically the accuracy and stability of the computation. So to meet my requirements it would be okay to run on one that is coarse mesh and you can update it according to your application and your convenience now so let's end it mesh within the meantime I'm gonna show you the mesh distributions happen in the resolution in 0, 1, 2 and you can see so on how it is dealing with the distribution and the accuracy and stability of the mesh basically it focuses on the quality now it would have given you a brief idea of the meshing here now our mesh is completed you can see the mesh and now let's move on to the static structure window to apply the load and support for the top impact analysis but before that what is top impact analysis so basically in this we will consider an object which has fallen from above to the top of the vehicle so now let's select it will be part of the let's select the upper surface of the vehicle let's insert the pose in this part the impact of the load will be maximum and it will be acting in the 
minus y direction. Let's input the flows. We have to input in the minus. So force is acting in the minus y direction. Now let's apply the support to the body, which will be in the bottom mounting members. Let's select. So here will be that we will be given support. Chat pick support. Yeah, the blue I can choose the pick support as well as the red shows load. Now let's go to the solution. Let's this whole window solve the results for us. But before that, let's insert the results. Yes, total deformation. Let's insert total stress. Equivalent one is the stress also. The fact of safety. Let's solve it. And it shows this all the window. And it will take some time. Now the solution is here, you can check the particular values, you can add the contours by going to results, let it remain to the smooth contours and no pattern. It will show you specifically where the load is acting and it will be very clear to you by seeing it and you can also crop the results by into the maximum and minimum result as you can see the variation of the load how it is how it impacts the body also you can see the stress value and the stress tool that is a factor of safety You can also generate report preview by clicking in the report preview, it will generate the report for you. The results will be there. You just have to generate it and it will prepare the report for you. There is the report. You can save it. So here is the report. You can also save it. Now, by the way, you can directly go to the results by clicking. You can also add the images. Just click the total deformation, go to images section and click on the image. It will show the image in your report you can also add. similarly you can add for equivalent stress and factor of safety in the same manner and factor of safety it will show the images in your report now, this was all about the top impact analysis now let's move on to the last analysis of our lecture that is rollover analysis. Now it has been updated. All the parameters will be updated according to the top impact analysis.
let's open our ANSYS Mechanical so this opens our ANSYS Mechanical and you can see the mesh has been updated as the previous one now let's get to static structural window and let's discuss what is rule over analysis So in rollover analysis we will be using a local coordinate system, we will insert one as the poses will be angular from the top, let's add the coordinate system, let's select this area and apply. Now the pose will be active on the minus y direction, let's transform it from the z rotate it by 45 degree as you can see the force will be acting in this direction as the coordinate force will destabilize the vehicle and it will fall over so now let's add the force Let's insert the pose. And let's get the magnitude new value. And we will even be providing it to the coordinate system, the local coordinate system we have inserted. Let's get the value. You can check the research paper in the description box for the process of calculation so let's apply the support to the body Here the blue I can choose the big support. The red, the pose. We have met the minimum requirement for the solution. Now let's solve the result. Before that, insert the results. Total deformation equivalent stress and the factor of safety. Now let's solve this. Now let's solve the solution first. You can check the total deformation with the impact and the color contours equivalent stress and factor of safety as well you can also add images I have told you before and also you can report preview you can generate your own report with this so this was all about the rollover analysis guide and here we end this lecture and if you want new videos on different analysis do comment in the comment section and if you have any queries please reach us out from our social media handles and you can comment in the comment section down below till then bye bye and i will see you next time that's all in this video please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel ejs racers thank you